All right, guys, so they're playing some uh, Wukong top lane this patch. And this game, we're playing Wukong into a Gwen. I'm going to showcase you guys how you can carry with Wukong. So yeah, this game, we have a Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Elastant, a Biscuits, and Cosmic. And then we also have a Longsword, which is going to be crucial because we get three pots for sustain. And then we also have Ignite. We're going to be playing very, very aggressive. That's why we got this set up. Like we honestly got the perfect matchup for it because we're facing off uh facing off a Gwen. Nice start. We'll try and get level two first. Seems like she's also trying at the same time. You don't want to give Gwen level two. Very important decision right here. Because otherwise she will stomp me for up until level three, which is bad. Yep, she's still trying to. And she got it first. That sucks. Wait a second. She got the four stacks now. This matchup is a pretty scary one because Gwen is known, well, as you guys know, uh, for a really good late game. But also, she can be a problem to me since I can hit my W and still get hit by the four stacks. The four stacks is very easy to hit for her. I could sidestep it with the W, but hard to do. We're going to have to play around my strength. She got level 2 first before I did, and now she's using it. So we're going to have to play it safe. We do have a Warwick like pathing top lane, so it's not that bad, but I'm, I'm going to be avoiding trades for now. If I were to go for a trade now, like going for an EQ or whatever, I would end up losing it pretty hard. We have a Warwick pathing top, so maybe we can use him. Oh. And just like that, we get a catch. We took a lot of damage, but... Only problem is, is that Gwen has TP advantage. We're not quite done yet. It's not looking good yet. She will come back with TP, and I will be low on HP, so we're going to have to find out what we can do here. We're not in a good position. I need my jungle to fix it. Oh, seems like my jungle died. That's actually even worse. <laughs> if my jungle is dead, then I'm going to have to play weak for a while. Uh, I can't go for those last hits. If I go for the EW, I will lose my only ability that saves me when I get ganked by Shaco. <clears throat> We're gonna have to lose last hits here. Don't have a choice. Yep, I thought that was gonna happen. I just knew it. That sucks. We're having a bad time here. You know why it's terrible? Um, not only are we dying here, but we're losing like two waves. I'm level 4, she's already level 5. I'm not getting any of the XP here. Yeah, now she goes back. That was honestly such a good play by Shaco because he died. Like, he killed my jungler before uh, he was able to impact my lane after the gank before. It's pretty well played. Now I'm playing from behind. We'll find a way to kill Gwen. Probably going to have to go for an outplay uh, around level 6. We'll be stacking the wave up. I always say the same thing, I'll say it again. If you have the wave like stacking up, you build it up, you're going to be stronger. You're much, uh, you're able to do much more if you have to wave into the right spot and stacked up. Actually, it's not bad. Uh-huh. That sucks. You want to know why? Because I think I canceled my auto attack in the fight. 
It should have been a kill right now, but we didn't. I think I... I, I want to die for it, but... Wait a second. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> At least some luck I'm getting back from getting ganked by a Shaco earlier and getting dived and losing like two waves. <laughs> I'll take this. What a crazy start of this game. Absolutely. Nice. I forgot to tell you guys about this, but I wanted to mention this. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, or realized it, or did any checks, or whatever, but Wukong is actually a meta champ again. Uh, I actually made a video earlier about this, like two weeks ago, or three weeks ago, I think it was. I made a video for Wukong. At the time, Wukong was becoming meta. Now Wukong is actually meta. It's got like a massive play rate to it. Win rate is looking good, play rate's like insanely good. People finally waking up, seeing that Wukong is a good champ. Now, of course, we're unfortunately in a matchup which is not the the best, if that makes sense. Um, but you'll see, like, as we continue this game, as we get more items, you will see, like, what kind of ridiculous damage and, like, the way how Wukong can be played, how, how good he actually is. Like, this is not the biggest strength of Wukong at all. The laning phase is actually decent. Um, but Wukong's mid late game is outstanding. If that makes sense. Especially if you make a massive lead. I should have hit W first. Missed that one. Yep. It is what it is. Sidestep the Q. Not bad. Fortunately, we have to rely on some jungle ganks this game, but I hope at the time of getting the fine, we should start winning. And we're getting pretty close to it too, it's not that bad. Still not happy with the farming because of Shaco earlier, like he just made me lose so much with the play he did. <clears throat> nice. Let's go shuffle. My Jonah is going for Herald, and Gwen is unable to move because the wave is completely pushed. So this is a pretty good position to be in. I'm not gonna uh, buy tier one boots because um, I need to get defined as soon as possible. The sooner I get this item, the better it is. If I buy uh, tier 1 boots, I'm going to have to like farm another 300 gold to get my Define Sundra. It's just not worth it. Okay. Stack the wave up. Cannot believe how, how like, I cannot believe I refuse when I look at my farm, like, no. But, yeah. It is what it is. We will recover from... Uh, and of course missing that. And that one, of course. An enemy is An ally has been slain. Okay, let's see if we can fight him. We're level 8, he's level 7. So we have a pretty sweet little tiny lead here. That will not work. Just gonna spawn it. That's an okay spawn, depending on where their mid lane is going. Well, the damage. Never mind. I have some more scaling to do. There you go. We got him. Actually quite happy with the fact that we are getting this kill. 
especially in the position that we we have been in previously we're still getting something here not bad well yeah let's get it i am not going for tower because i believe that the tp is up i believe it is yeah Oh, don't tell- oh man, don't tell me that. There was a ward in that brush, and now it got cancelled because the wave was going for me. Are you kidding me, dude? That's gonna lose my lane right now. Oh, that's gonna lose my lane. Are you kidding? Really? Let me tell you, bro, how literally one ward can change an entire lane phase. I'm actually going to lose half of the wave now. Unbelievable. This is just how OP wards are, guys. <laughs> no over-exaggeration. Okay, let's push it. Thankfully, we got a jungler this game. Although the Shaco's pretty active too. <laughs> He's got Kraken Slayer and Le and also Serrated Dirk. Okay. Looks like fun. Nine kills Shaco, bro. Are you kidding? Yep, Shaco's coming to save the day. It's always like that. Whenever, whenever like the matchup gets really good here, I always see Shaco like fixing it. Nice. I um I'd like to go for the rotation, but I don't think we're gonna kill LeBlanc. Go for two long swords. So what I am thinking or planning out doing, I was thinking previously about going for Black Lever into into a grudge. But um something that I want to do, which might be a better solution in this game, is going for Hydra. Um for the AoE clear and the AD, and then going into multi Mordius, which will counter Gwenet and LeBlanc. But yeah, then we still have Shaco running across the map with like full damage, so I'm not sure yet. We'll see what we do. Let's hold it. There you go. I should be able to 1v1 Gwen right now when she appears. I should be able to. But I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she's going for the jungle camp. I see. Well, I'm just going to keep holding it. She will walk in eventually. I will reach level, level 11 first before she does as well. As the wave is stacking up. God love 11. You know, she casts in W2. I think I'll use that as a way to reset it once more. This is actually a really good reset that I'm probably getting. Maybe I'll stay around, because... Hmm. Well, she's dead. Nice, got another catch. And we're getting tower, so that's pretty huge. Shaco seems to be topside. And now we're gonna go for a reset. So we're gonna be um, we're gonna be going for 
this one. Actually, I'm gonna go directly for Tiamat. That'll help. Enemy killing spree. We're gonna be farming Bali now. So change of plans a little bit. We're gonna be trying to split Bali until Drake is closely like close to spawning. Then we're gonna to go top and clear it out so we can set it up. But it's still like three men. I'll take this wave, then we probably rotate uh, for a fight here. We'll see. Your turret has been destroyed. Oh, we'll take another wave. 12 kill Shaco. Whew. Even Zai is fed. Tough match. Uh, they're definitely coming down here. I'm gonna walk back. Cannot stay at all. Ah, I'm gonna go for a four reset. I also... Uh, I've got Yone going top. Wait a second. Your turret has been destroyed. If Warwick uh, walks down here, I think we can probably get a really good fight off. I'm not going to cast ult. They're showing themselves. Don't like it. They should have just not shown themselves. This is not working at all. Man, like my teammates should have just not shown themselves. That's that's all there is to it. It was so mega, mega, mega obvious. It was insanely obvious. I should have just backed off there. I can almost 200% guarantee you that if they didn't show themselves, the enemy AD carry and support would have walked up to try and fight me, and then they could just walk in and kill me. Uh, and I mean, just walk up and we could kill them, right? But since we have a Caitlyn up here and a Warwick up there, like, obviously, it's going to tell only one thing, right? Like, <laughs> like you're going to get into a massive team fight if they walk in. Like, it's super readable. Like, what's a Caitlyn doing here, right? Let's, what's a Warwick doing there? Like, they're only there for one purpose. They only have one thing planned out. <laughs> Got him. At least we're getting a kill right there. Definitely walking away because they will all in. Ah, that's also stolen. Okay. That's interesting. I'm not even gonna walk in there. Like, I will make zero difference. Nice. We need to get Mothy Memorius and Death Stance. And I think at that point, now nah, I'm not gonna surrender. We will play. At, at that point, hopefully we can make a turnaround and then uh, win the game. Let's go for jungle camps. Yeah. Terrible fight. At least we get the camps. I am happy to see that they are not trying to take it. I think LeBlanc is still there. Nice, we're getting another camp, they're not stealing it. The worst thing that can happen now is like them stealing all jungle camps, that would be terrible. 
so yeah we just have to stay consistent at like taking the jungle camps and everything gotta make sure we don't lose them otherwise you'll lose even harder I want to try and get this camp here too. I don't think he took it. Well, top lane's getting wrecked. Top wave is gone anyway. Even if I walk up there, we still lose the inhib. It gets better for me to take the take the wave now and let it go under tower and let it die because um, I'm gonna walk up another. Because if I walk top lane now. Even if they take the inhib, what what am I gonna what like what kind of difference am I gonna make? One versus four, right? So just looking for ways to to make a comeback, make a lead. We gotta we gotta have to be very clean with the way how we play this now. As you can see, we're making good decisions. We have like a one level lead, even though we are losing. Hmm. That was such a good all in. Like we got like, we got like three targets. Like remember, all of them are fed. All of them are fit. Like Shaco, 12 kills. This guy, 4 kills. This guy, 2 kills. This guy, 7, seven kills. They're all fed. They all have bounties. If we can get like one catch, it will count for 2 or 3 kills. So it's not that bad. We just have to kill them again. Like, look at this. This guy's worth like 150. This guy's worth seven, uh, 1000. This guy is another 150. Check this out, bro. If we keep on killing, then we'll make a comeback. <clears throat> Let's go. Three items. We got a Mati Memorius, which helps against this guy and this guy. Will he jump? I wonder. Maybe that's the camp here I can take. Nope. Yeah, I think they're going to go for Baron soon. Stay around for another wave. Oh, they can see me. It's a very tough game, man. Like, I don't know. They, they, these guys are all too, too fed. I hope they will still make a mistake. This seems very good. Ah, I wish I had to shut down for myself, man. I really wish I did. I need my teammates to make the difference here. Oh man, I hate it so much to, to having to deal with like five people which are fed. It's a very rare case. Like, I don't know. I'm surprised we're even getting kills in the first place this game. With all with so, so many fed people. I don't know, man. <laughs> yep. It's over.
That sucks. We got really far. Sometimes you have games like this where your entire team is just, yeah. Like, 2 billion deaths. There's not much you can do about it. Hey, this is Wukong Tom. Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.